Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do part two of assembling the war driver. Me and a lot of the hashtag war driving group have put together adding a battery bank to the war drivers. Kron has created a couple of cases, which I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, I'll show you all of them, but first one here is the two battery case. He also has a standard no battery case that's a lot thinner than the one we were using. Holds everything together real nicely. We've got the two battery case like I've already showed you and then the single battery case. So once they get all put together, you use one or two 18650s depending on the one you get. And you wire it up to your war driver and it's battery powered. We are going to put together the two battery war driver and I'll show that in just a second. First, I kind of want to show with the single board, single war driver board, you'll just get the single war driver or the single battery board. You'll place it in and you'll just push it down till it snaps. And there it is. You have your USB port, uh, USB C charging port, a USB A out. So you can also use this to charge other things. And it's the same with the other board, the two bat battery port board. It has a switch on the side. I believe the switch is for turning the USB A charging on and off. And the button is a single click to turn on, double click to turn off, and that's what will actually end up powering your war driver. So let's get this back out, and I'll put the I'll put this one together on my own at another time. But other than what I just showed you and putting the single battery board in, it's going to be the exact same assembly steps. So I'm not going to go any further in detail. So on these dual bay or dual battery boards you can see that they have a bunch of five volt outs on the other side they also have a bunch of three volt outs which we're not going to worry about that's not what we need we need a five volt out so what we're going to do because the battery board goes an upside down on this side and the war driver goes like this on this side, we are going to wire, here we can see five volt and ground. We're gonna wire the five volt positive to five volt positive and ground to negative on both. Um, just wanna let you know, y'all's will look a little different. Y'all will have most likely the SIM slot. I don't care too much about the SIM slot on my war driver. I'm leaving that open for so I can do the um, BW16 5 gigahertz mod at some point. But most likely yours will have this and it'll fit just fine, just the same with that SIM board in there. So let's get to soldering in these two places. connectors connected to the war driver. Get our GPS antenna. Connect it on. Let's go ahead and get our micro SD card in. 
I'm actually going to pause the video and go flash this or format it real quick. All right, I got the flash card formatted. Just a note with these flash or these SD cards. They come FAT32, which is what's required for the war driver, but for some reason they still don't sync up properly. So that's something to watch out. If you're having issues with an SD card, take it out and flash it. That has fixed the majority of the issues I've had come to me about. So we're getting all the antennas on. Cron put together a README for this case. I highly suggest you go ahead and look at it when you're putting this together. He tells you the order to put it in. So we're going to start with the battery board. You go USB-A first, get it in there, and then you just press down. And it's in there. And then, I believe what he said The next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and get these bulkheads installed into the case before we lay the war driver completely down. We want them in. So we're going to go ahead and get our two nuts. And I don't know for sure if he intended you to use any of the washers that come with it or not. I'm going to go ahead and use two washers anyway and these nuts are eight millimeter so if you want to tighten them with a wrench you just tighten them with an eight millimeter wrench oh great So they're kind of a tight fit, which I think is awesome. And to just get them all the way set, seated, I'm going to just continue to tighten them. So as you can see, there's plenty of space. If you want to add the washer, that is fine. I think I am going to go ahead and add it. So I'm going to add it with the flared side down. I don't have to worry about twisting it too tight. You see there is with, an, with the washer on, it fits just perfect. These also come with a lock nut or a lock washer, which you could use, but I, I've rarely ever used it. It's a lot thicker too. So I think just that washer there should be enough. <laughs> so now you're just gonna kind of hold these up and slide under it. And we want the GPS antenna to still come up just right. And the GPS will slide right there. Just perfect. So 
So in the future kits, I may get shorter cables for the antennas, but they're not too terribly long. The GPS is perfect because it's about as far away from each of these as you can get. These are kind of what interfere with it, according to Jay Hewitt. But yeah, that's it. Uh, let's actually... Get my battery bank. Okay, there it is. So... The wires are on the right side of the screen. Let's go ahead and get that power down. Everything tucked back in place. And let's get a case lid on it. So here's the lid. Go ahead and take this protector off the screen and get the screen snapped into the lid, which is nice. It snaps in very nicely and it popped out again. I'm having the worst luck with this particular connector. It's definitely a scary sound when you snap it in. Just about done. To screw these together, to screw these together, we're just going to use four three by six, three M by six screws or bolts. These are probably, I might change what I sell with it or what I have included in the kits. But it's probably just going to be these socket heads for a while. And if you have one of my older kits, then you know that the older version had eight bolts total. And the cases were two parts. So I really like this new design. Less parts is nice. As you can see, there's probably quite a bit of room. I believe Kron said you can go over... I think it was up to like a 10 length, or maybe it was 12, but you can definitely go with a lot longer length if, ne length if necessary. And then one last part is this little button for the battery. It'll just... Snap right in there, and now you have a, bat a button. Single click to turn it on, double click to turn it off, and we'll actually get that shown here in just a second. Let me get these batteries popped in. And if you don't know, you do need flat top 18650 batteries for these. And so this side that has the groove is gonna be your positive you can also see that the top looks just a little different. It's got like these little slots around it and stuff. Whereas the, bot the bottom, the negative side is completely flat. And then you'll have positive and neg negative on this. Get them in there. And there you go, single press. First starting. Working great. Go ahead and get these antennas turned and screwed on. These are the antennas that come with the kit. Obviously you can upgrade them however you would like. But that's it. The war driver and battery pack all in one. I haven't actually done any testing. I don't think anyone's had these long enough to do testing about how long these two 18650 batteries will last. But I have forever used a 10,000 watt on with these. And this lasts more than all day, typically. And an 18650, I think they're a little over 3,000 milliamp hours each. Oh, 
these are 2,500 milliamp hours, so that's 5,000, so it's about half the capacity of that battery, which is fine. I like it a lot better just because it's all inclusive. But yeah, double click turns it off. That is the finished war driver with battery pack. I will, at the time of this video, I have released 30 more orders for the war driver kits. I am currently still not doing any assembled. Uh, if I do assembled, it'll be just a few at a time and they will be sold as I make them. But the kits, I am selling 30 of them at the time of this video. First come, first serve. And for these first 30 kits of this new style case, I will be including a full set of the Script Kitty stickers if you haven't seen them. So if you would like a kit, or if you would like a kit, you will get a set of these stickers as well. I will offer it in the two battery battery variant, the single battery and the no battery, and I will also give you the option of no case if you want to print the case yourself. Thanks for tuning in. Go like and subscribe. Go check out Cron. I've got him. I will have him linked in the description. I'll try to have a, a link somewhere in the video too. Um, he does some great stuff. He's really been working with a lot of this stuff. He's, I think, working on a case that will allow you to do the BW16. And we will be doing that soon. We'll see you next time.